watching Cox Connections, only on Cox 11. The Rotary Club of Chesapeake works to make positive changes in our community. Fundraising is one of the ways they do this. Here to tell us about their seventh annual Chesapeake, Virginia Wine Festival in October is Scott Danner, co-founder and chairman of the festival, and Roland Davis, city councilman and co-founder. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Roland, tell us a little bit more about the Chesapeake Rotary. It is a great service club that meets every Wednesday at the Chesapeake Conference Center. Over 112 business leaders and civic leaders. And the whole purpose is just to do great things for the community. Service above self is the motto, and it exemplifies that in every way. Service above self. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, give me some examples of how the Rotary has, has helped the community. Well, many of the projects we do throughout the year, we do probably the, one of the more famous ones is the uh, Chesapeake Christmas Parade in Great Bridge each year. We do a Paint Your Heart Out, where for over 30 years have done all senior citizens' homes and over 400 volunteers. Coats for Kids, a distributing kids to the Title I schools. And the Wine Festival, which is a tremendous success story and a great uh, provider to the charities in Chesapeake. So helping the community from kids all the way through the elderly. Yes, but having a great time doing it. Absolutely. I mean, and, and really trying to make a difference in the community. Scott, the upcoming Wine Festival is your big fundraiser. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yes, yeah, so the Wine Festival came about through uh, a lot of Rotarians racking their brains to figure out what could be done better from a spaghetti dinner years ago. And uh, al although the spaghetti dinner had been wonderful for 30 years, we decided to move in a different direction. And we got an 8,000 person wine festival with over 20 wineries uh, from Virginia, international wines um, and, and live entertainment and just so much stuff that the community has really taken a hold of from the city to, to each of the people that come from all over the area and outside of our area to be a part of this thing. So um, every October, October 8th this year, we have the wine festival and we will have it from 12 to noon at the Chesapeake City Park. And it is just an absolute blast. I think you've actually come out. I have, a couple of years ago. It was a lot of fun. And the wine was fabulous. I probably shouldn't say that on TV. <laughs> You're allowed to it was just a tasting. That's all it was. It was just, just a tasting. A tasting. That's right. So tell us a little bit more about the charity aspect of the wine festival. Sure. Every, every year uh, at uh, the Rotarians uh, designate charities as beneficiaries well before the festival. And then the festival obviously creates the revenue. It's 100% volunteer. It's 100% for charity. So literally every dollar that comes in through admission goes directly to the charities. And so these charities, there's usually between 8 and 10. And they have varied from Chesapeake Regional uh, Hospital, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, CHIP, uh, the Children's Day Leaders Tomorrow Charity of the Sheriff's Department. All of these, within 30 days after the festival, that money goes, gets distributed to them. So the Rotary's not hanging on to those dollars. It's you raise it and you distribute it to benefit the community. Well, he wanted the punchline, so have the punchline. How uh, much? How much? I think, I think it's, it's not about that. It's, it's more importantly that without our sponsors and without right. the people that support us in the community, like Dennis Elmer and Priority Automotive and, and all of our major sponsors, um, they've allowed us to bring in so much money to make this higher quality event every year. Um, and through that, we have now donated over a million dollars. And, and when you look at, at just that's given out and actually applied to the community. So that's a hundred plus thousand of the Sid Omen Cancer Center. Meeting it's social needs, social right, needs. right here. Yes, absolutely. I mean, coats for kids right on the backs at Christmas time and the holidays and, and a, a dental chair at the free clinic. There's a lot of things that you see every day that this wine festival is given back to the community and probably the fellowship and aspect of the wine festival is always wonderful and we love people having fun but when you know what it's doing and, and changing people's lives out there in the community that's really what what makes us work so hard as an entire rotary club to make this thing work and flow makes it fantastic a million dollars that's uh definitely doing some great work in our community so if you if you don't drink wine are there other things that might interest you in coming to the wine festival? Sure. I mean, live music is really important. 
Um, I, we, we've had great acts from, from heavy, heavy quality local acts. Our friend Lewis McGee usually puts it all together and he brings friends uh, from all over the area. We have um, beer tastings, which is, is different as well, and that adds a different dynamic. Great food. Um, just the park is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful event, and, and sitting around and enjoying lots of friends and family. There was an article written a couple years ago that said it was like a come-home weekend, you know, where everybody comes in to meet and just enjoy that level of fellowship. And did I leave anything and else early out? Early October in Chesapeake is beautiful. It so. is, it is. And there's, uh, we have... Uh, probably 35 corporate chalets out there where the corporations uh, basically rent the chalets. They can entertain their clients, their customers, uh, bring in the food or, or uh, have it catered. And it's just a wonderful atmosphere for a day to spend really enjoying yourself, but doing something great for the community. And if people want to find out more, get ticket information, find out how to get one of those chalets, where do they go for that information? Oh, www.chesswine.com and our special phone number is 751 wine 751 wine that's right that's fantastic so a million dollars raised staying right here to benefit our community a fun evening uh, wine music art friends sounds fabulous it is a great time and as we say it's great wine for great causes Anything else that you gentlemen want to share? I, I think if you haven't been out, and we know you have, but for the viewers <laughs> that have not been out, come out and enjoy what Chesapeake has to offer. It is a great um, example of how wonderful our city is, how amazing the community is, and the end result is not just you having a great time, it's that you're making a difference in the community, and that's really what it's all about. That is exactly what it's all about. Scott Rowland, thank you so much you for so being much. here to talk with us about the Chesapeake Wine Festival. We appreciate Thanks it. For having thank us. you. When we return, getting students excited about science, math, and technology at an early age helps them carry this interest into high school and beyond. We'll discover how Portsmouth's Starbase Victory accomplishes this mission when we come back with more Cox Connections.